Now, I believe black male female relationships is the most important subject, the most important topic that any group of black people could talk about. No matter if you promote uh, black male, black female marriages, relationships, or if you are against them. There are a lot of black people who actually are against, uh, you know, looking for a Keisha. And I've been dealing with that over the course of several videos. And I'm going to do so again here. Now, it saddens me to see so many black men make a mark on YouTube and then disappear. Accountable Commentary recently removed all his content, but a few hours ago, or actually a few minutes ago, he posted this. See the title? They're selling merch celebrating the demise of Kevin Samuel. And as we all know, he promotes the idea of black men avoiding Keisha, avoiding black women. Stay away from them. Stay away from them actively avoid them in full disclosure I live the life that he's advising to other black men but I've lived that life without verbalizing it out loud I haven't gotten on the internet and advised other black men to do the same I felt motivated to, but I never did it because I personally always felt like it would be out of line for me to do something like that. Because I am my own person, you know, some other men could have a different relationship with some, maybe some, they find a black female they click with, or maybe they could simply find a black wife that's good to him, at least to his liking, to where they have a family, etc. I always felt like it, it wasn't my place to do that. But I cannot deny that I live the life that he's advising to other black men. And this is a huge reason why I live this life. I avoid Keisha's. From my experience, it's dangerous being in relationships with black women. It is. If you're going to do it, you better make sure she's from out of town. And even then, you might be at an increased risk if these statistics are accurate but I want y'all to look at this and I'll commentate throughout I ordered mines at work yesterday I'm gonna get the sweatshirt to mine too you see this the t-shirt they got mugs and everything Kevin Samuels died I ordered mines at work yesterday. I'm going to get the sweatshirt too. Mine too. Where did you get it? Huh. Look. Huh. They, they ordered the mug. I want, I'm look, look. Look at this. This is them celebrating. This was last year. This is them celebrating. Needless to say, I'm ready for tomorrow's shenanigans. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the mug. This is sick. This is sick, man. This is sick. Look. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. If you read some of these comments, they are very sick. And there's nobody objecting to this. Look at this. What a way to start the day. Then his arteries exploded. This. Look at this. 
I had to put Cynthia G on pause to listen to this. Look. Me in my kitchen. Dead dumb Sammy's. Look, look at this. Look. Look. Ball headed. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's the perfect avatar for them. Look, look at this. Look at this. This is very crazy. You get the time. Read these comments. Very sick. Look at this. Look at all these quiches. Look. The celebration. That's not that's that's a that's them posting some dude. I don't know why, but look. Look at this. Look at this quiche said. Not my daughter folding clothes asking me who was Kevin Samuels. I was like, wow, that's random. Why honey shows me this shirt? Look. This is sick. This is sick, man. Let me ask y'all a question. Have black women ever celebrated the death of a black woman like this? There is a, an evil that I see amongst my demographic of women. And it's a unique hatred. It's a, it's a hateful, evil spirit that hates me. That hates black men. Hates themselves and hates us. Their hatred for themselves is expressed via hatred towards us. We are the targets of their self-hatred along with their own physical body remember demonic possession always involves the destruction of yourself both inside and out they they destroy themselves what percentage of them are involved in this culture of at least destroying their outer selves. All you dudes that have issues with me, all you simps that have issues with me telling brothers to stay away, they didn't know this man. He didn't do nothing to them. And Kevin Samuels tried to help them in a very mature way, and he is loved by people of all races all around the world. Highly respected by the highest people in society. He was an image consultant. Let me get this off of here. I don't want to look at her chest. Matter of fact, let me allow the brother AC to add a few more uh, words. He did nothing to them. He told them the truth. What did he do to them? He told them the truth. And and nobody seems to point this out. They kept calling into his show. If you don't want to hear the truth, don't call into the show. If you if you have issues with it, don't call into the show. Don't listen. No. They were so vain that they called into the show because they wanted to show him up. They wanted to tell him that they got it going on. They wanted to tell him, hey, this is possible. They hated the fact that a black man was putting a spotlight on their flaws. It was all because a black man was saying it. See, when you spot that demon, when a person is demonically possessed and you call that demon that's inside of them, the person who is possessed is going to start to act erratic. 
They're going to spaz out. May even start foaming at the mouth. This is an evil demon inside of our women. And it's just full of hatred. Full of hatred for black men and for themselves. Oh, this is possible, but is it probable? Anything's possible, but is it probable? Kevin was an image consultant. And he decided, he thought to himself, he said, you know what? Let me use my profession, my knowledge that I've been using in the corporate sector. Let me use it for my people. That's what he did. Let me use it to try to help the black community. That's what he was doing. Let me help black women. He was trying to help black America. By bringing to their attention their unrealistic expectations and the truth. Everything he dealt with was the truth. Thousands of black women themselves admitted it, but they still got this hatred. Why? They just cannot respect black men. This is why I reject throwing the m-bomb around recklessly yeah nigga this nigga that nigga nigga this nigga that and you always referring to black men i don't get down like that and it's hard for me to listen to content creators like that in fact generally i just can't listen to it the problem with today's black america is there's no respect for fathers, no respect for black men. There's no respect for the men. Keisha, just like Massa, they only like black men if black men are slow, degenerate, easy to manipulate, easy to control. They don't like normal black men. Think about that. That's plantation mentality. That's plantation mentality right there. The slave master did not want a normal thinking black man. So the bottom line is, any rejection of black men being normal, just like all other men, is a war against black men. Kevin Samuel said, let me take my profession and try to help my people, help my community. And dealt with nothing but facts. He gave you tough fatherly love and I don't regret none of it. And I believe it contributed to his heart condition. He pointed out how y'all need to stop making excuses for obesity and practice self-discipline. You can never be in the wrong when you're suggesting to an undisciplined group of women to practice self-discipline. What is there to hate about a man like that? I'm at war with the lack of respect for black men. And I want to be overt about that. I'm sick of it. It's enough to drive you crazy. Respect us just like you respect Brad. And we won't have no problems. Follow us and admire us. Hang on to our every word. Like you do with Brad. We won't have no problems. But the way most of them are today. We got problems. Now. 
I'm still open to marriage. If I were to find the right black American female. I'm, that's just how I am. I'm a cultured man and I want my kids to be black American. I don't want no conflict or confusion or infusion. But I have no confidence that I'm going to ever find that mystery black wife. And I am not looking. I'm not actively looking for her. If I find her, I find her, and I'm very lucky. And I cannot sit around and w let my life waste away looking for this unicorn Keisha. And it's sad. There are many other proud black men just like myself. And we refuse to introduce the drama into our life. Like I said, it's dangerous. You break up with a black woman, she get her pookie family come delete you. It's dangerous. You're safer dealing with uh, Becky, Ling Ling, because they're definitely going to want to keep you a secret. They don't want to tell none of their family members that they're dealing with you. It's a better chance. Now, it's dangerous messing with anybody. And it's a sad era for black America. I've been telling people for a long time, society props up Pookie. Society made Pookie a star. When you see these rappers, you're looking at Pookie. It's an overt, irrefutable degradation. They, they degrade black men's image right before the world for everybody to see. This, these are the types of men that they're grooming black boys to want to grow up to be. And too many of their mothers are grooming them on this filth, this degeneracy. To the point where we got names like Chirac. Black community is in shambles right now. We got serious problems. And for any percentage of our women to celebrate the passing of Kevin Samuels, if you ask me, that's enough to put a halt to Dayton. All of them. When you find that, and this is not new, this demonic energy has been in them for a long time. That was the case with Cynthia G. That's what it was all about. Cynthia G was all about strengthening, reinforcing that demon, that demon of hatred that they have for black men. They hate black men more than they hate anything else in the world. They hate black men more than they hate themselves. Because they view black men as the reason why they are inferior to other women. They view themselves, their traits, their characteristics, their beauty. They view themselves as women as inferior to all other races of women. And they look at us and blame us. It is because we resemble you. And that's why they've created a culture based on treating black men's genes as if it's cursed. Treating our hair, our lips, our skin, our identity as if it's cursed, as if it's the ugliest thing they've ever seen in their life. 
the identity of a black woman. So bad now we don't even know what they look like under all that artificial and some of it ain't artificial when you're talking about the hair. That really is Ling Ling's, Becky's whole entire head full of hair. So if black Americans are going to remain on this earth, there has to be a spiritual exorcism on a massive, on the entire black female population, if you ask me. They need an exorcism, spiritual reformation. They are possessed by demons. Demons that hate and want to destroy blackness. And it views black men as the source of what they hate. Sad reality, but that's what it is. And honestly, I hope black Americans pull through this. We are great people. I mean, mind-blowing group of people very unique in many things that we do we're a blessed group of people what more do you need to love yourself how is it even possible for y'all to hate yourselves and hate your identity when there's so much to admire Another thing that black men just don't understand.